and the college football playoff semifinal. All State Sugar Bowl, the second game, Washington and Texas Horns, a four point favorite. I tell you what, it's such an evenly matched game. You look at both offenses, but I think I'm going to have to go with the Huskies because their oh. offensive line, I think, with Dylan Johnson running the ball now, they have a lot of balance offensively. So I'm going to go with the Huskies, but in a close one. Yeah, so I've gotten a chance to see this Texas team both against Alabama and then against Oklahoma from the field whenever we do one of those field pass, making the world dumber. They're big, they're strong, they're fast. But for me, this Washington team is so calloused. They can win a game however you need to win the game. And I think Michael Penix continues this dream year coming back to Washington. Give me the Huskies and Kalen DeBoer getting a win over Sark. Not so fast. No. Not so fast. <laughs> Texas, advantage running the ball and stopping the run. One dimensional Washington will not beat them. Texas wins. Close one, cover. They're my favorite team, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. 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 Um, I'm. I'm, man, coin flip on this for me. I love Sark. I love the entrenches. Yeah. They have a big advantage up front on both sides. But there's just something about that group of receivers that, that Washington has. Whoa, and Coach. Johnson and Penix. Yeah. I think it's a 38-35 kind of game. Which oh. quarterback has it last? I'm going with, uh, I think Washington wins it. Only yeah. horn. Uh, horn. Horn. Yeah, yeah, about only that, one. the yeah. only horn. Steve also yeah. went Tennessee with yeah, Washington. Texas. And then. The Rose Bowl game, Michigan and Alabama. Kirk calling the game, Hall of Fame, uh, Rose Bowl Hall of Fame going in. Who wins the game? Wolverines are tired. You got when, I, when, I, time, when, I heard, when I heard, yeah, when I heard Alabama that Nick Saban went and hired a former Michigan coach, I was like, oh, here we go. This is like kind of like white collar uh, sign stealing. But <laughs> I think that Michigan's so motivated because of everything they've gone through. I got Michigan winning the close one in the Rose Bowl. I've had a lot of Michigan people wearing khakis and stuff like that at the hotel that we're staying out from 1915 tell me that I never pick Michigan, and that is not true. Okay, I picked Rutgers to beat Michigan one time earlier in the year. And no. Michigan won by 70. Yeah, and then you see what Michigan has done all season with their mental toughness and how great they are, how mature of a team. You'd be an idiot to pick against them, but (laughs) roll, town roll. I got Alabama going to the national championship just because I think they have developed and played their best ball, and I still think their best is yet to come, starting with a close win today over Michigan. This is the most controversial pick I think I've ever made. Ever. Mm, wow. there's, there's many experts out there that don't think both these teams deserve to be here. Neither one of them. They got a lot of baggage. Ready? Fair. Uh-huh. They yeah. got, forget the baggage. I'm going to blue. Give me a mission. Oh. Oh, we got to do this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This, oh, this is where he does this. <laughs> oh. This is for you, Hey, This is for you. Hey. and best champions of the west will find out this afternoon enjoy the fiesta bowl <laughs> you're a good coach oklahoma drills coming <laughs> Give something.